Hi guys, uh, as many of you might have probably seen already, uh, I'm being messing around with uh, some actual GILCs uh, on flat ground. Sounds uh, quite interesting if you're uh, not uh, so involved in the community. But I just want to share a little video like explaining how I do them in case anyone else wants to try and doesn't have idea what I'm doing. So this is still a pretty hard technique and there's really no use for it, but maybe someday there will be an, the possibility that it will be useful uh, becomes better uh, if like more people do it. So when more people mess around it, maybe we might find some use for it and maybe we'll get like better at it as a community. But anyway, I just want to show you like how I do it, uh, how it's actually somehow possible not saying all that possible because it's still far away from being uh, you know, like actually useful anyway uh, you know for for normal GL I mean ILTS you know the moment you tap on R1, R2 and D-pad or you can do them with the stick if you're crazy like I think Nerdman does anyway uh, you can notice uh, when you tap R1 R2 slowly, you raise much more higher. Whereas uh, if you tap them much more quicker, like let's say this, oh, fuck me. Um, if you tap them like very quick, you gain like no height at all. So that's the point we're trying to do here. When we do on flat ground, we don't want to gain height because uh, then it just fucks us up. So how do you get the input so fast that uh, you won't gain any height? If I'm not mistaken, uh, the amount of inputs you need is something around 10 inputs per second. Or at least that's safe. So what you want to do, uh, instead of normal tapping like this, fluttering, uh, you'll want to rake. This is what we call raking in the uh, Guitar Hero community, where I stole this one. Uh, you know those leaf rakes when you have a lot of leaves on the ground and you just drag them away? Uh, you'll do a rake from your fingers. Uh, it's easy to explain. It's like this. And well, you, how I use it, I have the fingers almost together. There's a little separated. And uh, I tend to use fingernails because uh, it's the most optimal, what I can feel like. I tried the fingertips, uh, I tried uh, this part of the finger, I tried this part of the finger, but uh, I found that the fingernails actually is the best thing for this. So you wanna take your controller, here's R1, R2, and you wanna make the rake here, and just go like up and down, like this. As you can see, I'm I'm actually barely touching them, but I'm getting some good inputs there. Now, uh, why you want to use fingernails? First, because there's very little, little friction in there, so you can just spam very fast, you don't, uh, your uh, skin doesn't blister, and it's just easier to go fast. And uh, you can use the, uh, this part of the finger uh, as like a little spring uh, when you you need to like uh, hold your controller against your body like this and then you'll just uh, apply some force to your fingers so you'll actually start pressing them and then you re register like every input and you can see this is I'm going very slow but you can see the amount of inputs on R1, R2 and then, then you just go ham, you go fast like real fast now why I'm on Umbris uh, is like I showed you a uh, very good uh, place to like practice it is just to go over to mud and do the IL chase but do it like a rake in the R1 R2 just get the inputs there you can like um, play around you can do it with like three fingers or maybe four if you're crazy then you wanna have them like all fingers together but just uh, if you can have a Rackman, you can have uh, input display. It's very good uh, to see how you actually get the inputs in there. And then you just want to try it out, see how, like, what works for you. 
like sometimes for me three fingers is the more consistent usually uh, two fingers is more consistent sometimes and yeah this is what i want you to practice go over the mud uh, spam like hell and try not to gain height that's the thing anyway uh, sometimes i feel like uh, the two fingers gives me more speed sometimes i don't get uh, all the speed with three fingers but uh, it's easier easier to start uh, gil test with three fingers just mess around with it with it and see what feels the best for you uh, now uh, when we implement those on the ground uh, instead of being over the mud we need to remember that we need actually some uh, like neutral forward speed here so the easiest way i have done it uh, is just do one long jump and when you will usually do midair you'll just go gilj so when i do long jump then here i start doing the inputs and it's kind of tricky uh, to nail the timing on it and have all the inputs like correctly uh, but Sometimes when you just hit it, you'll get like very good combo of GIL chase on the flat ground. It's very hard to give an example because it's not all that consistent yet. <laughs> because it needs a lot of practice and I mean a lot. I've been doing this almost daily for now and I've barely gotten some consistency on it. But it's just like proof of concept that it is actually doable somehow. Uh, the other thing uh, is that you need quite fast inputs on the D-pad. Don't just... you don't try this, this with stick. You need... Uh, I think... I'm not sure about this, but I think it's 5 inputs per second on D-pad. So you just want to spam it as fast as you want, as fast as you can. So... That's the basic idea. And I can put some <laughs> clips here. Where I show uh, how good, like, like that's this is just something. That was a little combo of thing, but I can show like a couple of clips where I got a pretty decent GILJ and the speed of the thing. If you start nailing like though, there I did like two combos in a row. If you start nailing them like that, you can actually go uh, on game like and where you usually practice midairs on the long straight, you can just practice these as well. So, as a summary, do a rake, two or three, maybe four fingers, spam the air one, air two like this with your fingernails. Remember, you need to push all, like with some tension on the button, so you'll actually hit all the inputs. And then just give your best from your thumb to the D-pad whichever direction we want to make them so good luck with guys uh, good luck with the practice and i hope some other people <laughs> i hope to see some other people do this as well i don't want to be all alone with this one even though it's been fun uh the swag riddle car and everything and anyway uh hope you find this any helpful and this became pretty long video pretty soon but uh, I just tried to cover all the basics that I've been noticing and felt that this that are just even a little important anyway uh, thanks for the time and have fun <laughs> bye bye